dedicated leaders from Mandera County have taken a proactive approach by introducing a proposal in the National Assembly to fast track the organization of a by-election for Banisa constituency. The constituency has been vacant since the unfortunate passing of Kulom Alim Hassan earlier this year. <laughs> Member of Parliament for Mandera North, Bashir Abdullahi, stressed the critical nature of the situation, expressing concerns that further delays will cause significant distress among the constituents. Abdullahi emphasizes that they have garnered substantial support from fellow pastoralist MPs to ensure that the CEO of IBC swiftly appoints the returning officer for the upcoming elections. Nikita kubadlisha sheria ya kikatibu ambaye inohusika mambo ya baya elections. Kwa ajili hakuna commissioners ama chairperson ndomana banisa haina mbunge ni meleta msuada mbunge ambaye iko tayari next week ambaye tutaipeleka ndani ya kusema ya kwamba kama hakuna chairperson ama commissioners tumpatie mamlaka the IPC CEO ndo aweze kugazet the returning officer ndo a conduct by election hapa Banisa hiyo <laughs> msaada iko na inshallah bin like rim tuko na support ya bunge wote wa kutoka northeastern tuko na support ya wabunge wote ya pastors community na pia tuko na support ya wabunge wote ambaye ka kila party whether ni azimio ama ni wela, wela, whether ni wa Kenya kwanza kwa maana sasa hizi pale tuko hakuna commissioners na pale kama banisa na assemblies nyingi hawana representation Mandera governor Mohamed Khalif offered reassurance to the residents of Banisa assuring them that their constituency will soon have its rightful representative and we, are, we are all aware that we, the Banisa constituency has been without representative or without an MP for the last seven months it's a very painful thing as a party the party leader has already hinted that you're going to court to seek for the direct um, uh, order by the court to IBC so that at least as we struggle with the amendment of the IBC Act and continue with bi bipartisan talks, these people, Vanessa constituency, get a representative. It's very painful, very unfortunate for these people to be without representative. It really pains us as a leaders and as a party UDM. Furthermore, Mandera Senator Ali Roba confirmed that both individual leaders and as member of the UDM party, they will actively assist in accelerating and facilitating the IBC to conduct the Banisa by election. It's very sad that we have lacuna in the constitution that has created a situation where it has not been foreseen that there will be a time, such a time that all the commissioners will be out of office and there has not been any provision in law for the commi I mean, commission secretariat to be able to do by election as required. And this issue has gravely affected Banisa constituency. Seven months without member of parliament, without enjoying the benefits of development of CDF and representation at national level is a very sad issue. My brother, Major Abdullahi Bashir, Major Bashir Abdullahi, has already taken, as he has discussed, an amendment of the relevant sections of the law in Parliament, which both houses are going to support. However, I, as the party leader of UDM, we have also made a decision that we are going to go to court to seek redress in order to make sure that the lacuna in law does not inadvertently make a whole constituency suffer indefinitely while discussions are ongoing before the commissioners are put in place. So UDM will be in court. Banisa constituency has remained without a member of parliament for the past seven years. And the current issue with the IBC's lack of proper constitution hinders the electoral process. Reporting for Northcast TV, I am Hashim Jimal.